Alright, this is it. Time to finish this game. Nothing here. I think it's literally just for the acorn box of things. I mean, pine cone. Heart shaped pine cone. A precious gift from a timid Mukai. Even am I? This cave has literally no map. Oh, that's just light shining in. You want that acorn and pine cone? Oh, you found my pine cone. You... I'll never let it go again. Got some spirit light. Upgrades, upgrades, people. Max damage. <laughs> Our damage build, it's become stronger. Still need more money, need to buy more shit though. Oh yeah, the crit chance. Depends, what does flying enemy actually count as? If like, would the frog have counted as a flying enemy since it's technically always in the air? Like I want to buy all these upgrades but I also want to keep my fucking money so I can like, use, so I can use the max damage that I have. And I still want to actually buy something off him. I want to buy something off him because at your service. Like I want to get like this so I can use this instead of throwing the fireball. Like, because we could just use this instead of the fireball and just hit it with the hammer to recover energy and just have like the enemy burning all the time with this. Like, there is a trophy though to get all of these done. Should I just do it? Like, it didn't seem to really increase my damage anyway. Stay sharp, spirit. We don't really need the damage anyway. Like, if I really need it, I can grind up damage by killing enemies. They're really... Probably, probably not the best idea, though. You have any seeds? With the day of the decay of dark since decay, light catchers find it hard to collect the light they need to hang in blum bulbs. Then let's get started. Have you seen the fire moth? Beautiful, glowing creatures. Can't resist fire catchers. They fly into the bird to bird, eh, following the light. The glade shelter me after I had abandoned my old garden to the ice. But the garden was small and secluded. No one will enjoy its beauty but me. Now the glade shelter a new garden. All of and it's I feel at home. Thank you, spirit. I thought it was a trophy to do that. Oh well. Um. I believe that on the only skills missing are the ones that I haven't bought.
And what the fuck is the quest that I've not done yet? Rebuilding Glade, that's the only one left. Whew. I think I'm just going to buy the rest of the shit. Like, we're going to be lo we're gonna lose out on some damage, but... Like, my hammer seems to cap out at 24 anyway, so I only need 3,000 anyway. Thanks for lighting spirit, caught many fireflies. Now I can go murk wood with the, and get more silk, and the spiders help me. It's a good time for Mokeen. Still kind of recovering from that stupid race. It made me so angry. It's like a thousand. Oh well. I can get to about four, probably five thousand before the boss. Yeah, I got all spirit skill shards. I don't know whether there's one for upgrade all skill shards. Hopefully not. can really increase the damage of Reckless, but like I said, I seem to have hit our damage cap anyway. Could put Finesse in though, just for a 20% chance to crit. Might upgrade Finesse just to put it into the fight. Your patronage. Don't patronize me. House is still shut. Okay, we carry Combo's wisdom with us. Every night, his stories of the light and the marsh and the decay. And the spirit who came to help, that's one of my favourites. Okay, have we got a fast roll point? We do not. <sighs> I'm gonna need a lot of fucking money. There's a few orbs there though, so it should help. Oh yeah, we can't actually go up there, can we? We have to go through this way.
I'm supposed to pause while you're using a boost item. That is fucking annoying! Fire faster as well. Oh, that is fucking shit. Okay. This is going to be annoying. <clears throat> a little goofy, a little dumb. into the heart of the tree. As the end draws near, all paths lead to the spirit willow. off. We'll just jump from this platform instead. Just in case I can't boost off them. <coughs> Alright. I don't really see how I get up there. to land in this place, which kind of sucks. Alright, where's the orb? It's above. Just have to face tank it. In. How much does how much does cost actually? <coughs> two orbs. It has to be charged. I'm charging it though, so I guess it probably doesn't cost two orbs. Yeah, it costs one. So I thought I had this on. Ah, on it. Oh, here under the great root, roots of the great willow. That once gave life to the land. I just didn't know, Ori. I didn't realize that Akai had cut the eh, into the very heart of Nolan. Ah. Oh, Seeing this talk was uh, right to be worried. Mm, Look at this. I you um, you should do my charge for my service, but I'll give uh, given the circumstances, this one's on me. I snack. Much obliged. All maps bought. Buy a map. Please take a map. Take a map. 
Okay, so I have to take a very long fucking path to break that that one. Wow. Thanks for dropping me right on top of some spikes. So I fucking hate the portals. Like the portals just drop you on top of fucking spikes. Because you're supposed to go in with them, through them with momentum, so it's like, okay, you just go through them without any momentum and drop on some fucking spikes. Okay, that should have hopefully saved it. fucking button. You bastard, you literally didn't let me grab onto the thing. I fucking made the perfect height and made to just take damage. Uh. Oh god, there's poison. And I don't see where I land. Well, that healed quite a lot, though, at least. And hopefully it's a checkpoint, but it won't be. Life orb. What the fuck? Okay, that is everything on that side, so I guess we're going right now. <laughs> I thought I dropped you back at the entrance. Uh, maybe not that way, because I don't see any way into that. Uh, doesn't seem to be a portal though, so I guess that it's safe.
Doesn't look safe though. Oh, we stuck to the wall. Why well, it looked like there was a queue on there. <laughs> Wait, how the fuck am I supposed to get in there then if it's blocked off? Must be a pole somewhere. Is this really... It's really gonna do this. Like, you have to do them in a specific order. Did not expect that. Shit, now I can't get back. Crush my fucking platform as well. Not okay. <laughs> Guess we have to land on that core and use it to launch off. Honestly, there's no enemies in here though, which is a slight problem because I'm not gaining any money because there's no enemies and I need money to increase my attack power. We actually don't want to go that way.
have we got everything on plays? Got bonus damage when we're above heart, above health. Climb, got resistance. Do we really need the secret thing if we can see everything on the map? Okay, so what do we got here? And you bastard, you Overwatch player. fucking button. I'm very good at clicking the wrong fucking button. I accidentally killed it. <laughs> Gets me all the way over there. straight away. This is kind of an annoying one to do. Like, what the fuck am I meant to do? Do I have to literally launch it the other way? Like, how am I supposed to do this without, like, despawning the shot? Because this is required.
Do I launch it through the lasers and then use that to go back through the portal so I can get to it? I guess that is how we do it. Trying to shoot it through the portal doesn't work. Okay, so how the fuck did I make it through? I went through here. back to the spirit well is blocked. Uh, I guess we go up here though just to get rid of the more decay. Like I've said, like for some reason, like the hookshot button doesn't work for it, even though it's hookshot coloured. And it would work so much better if you just could hookshot into the dirt. Because then you wouldn't have the problem where you need to dash, like in that race. Ow. Like I thought it would be a shortcut because of like it opened up, but no, it's just a trap. You know what they say about traps? on top of this? Yes.
what the fuck? <laughs> I went through all the effort of breaking the rocks off and you just put them back again. Away. Oh well. That was an annoying boss. Maybe that was the actual boss of this place, so we don't have to fight another boss. And there was no reason for me to give it the extra health. It did not drop any currency. Like, how the fuck am I meant to get back out, though? Okay. Back up is gonna be annoying. Oh no. So the pole goes over there, the pole underneath it. Alright, this isn't actually the room I want to be in. But the room I want to be in is the correct room anyway, so I guess this is the room I want to be in. Okay, 
Okay, now I know what to do. Oh my god, I have spawned on the low point. I can, I think, stand up there. Nope. We don't want to stand up there, we want to get on that platform. Can we actually stand on it? Oh wait, no, there's wind. One, I guess we teleport out. Wait, I I missed one. Like there was two actually in the same spot. Why can't I just? Mm. Oh, that's why. I couldn't just do it, I needed to actually break it. The root of evil. The root of all evil. But now we can finish the town. The forest is alive, the news of the light is whole again. It warms my heart knowing that the ruins of my home fulfilled their purpose. Now go spirit, too long has the will awaited for the light's return. The glade must be finished. Fantastic, I'll get right on that. Every side quest and to complete the thing. Done. Feels like, um, feels great to be in the building store again. Believe it or not, I dream, um, dreams I that these glades are now a reality. Thank you. After seeing the sands destroy my work back home, I wasn't sure if I had it in me. But I kept my promise. Sorry. Together we have built a haven for all. Can't wait to go explore more. Or maybe I'll tell other Mokis about my exploring. Yes, that's a much better idea. Do I just buy the other upgrades just so I can? No, we've already bought all the upgrades. 
Like, I guess I'll just check the trophies once I finish, and if, like, there's a trophy to do the upgrades on the thing, I'll just upgrade them off-screen, because that really makes no difference. Like, we have enough to upgrade shit. We just want the extra points for damage against the final boss, if there even is a final boss. Since, like, that mini-boss might have been the final boss, the final boss might just be a chase again. Colox Hollow is still missing something. How? I have a map that shows everything. And there's nothing there. Like, unless, like, after I do the spring, we have to come back for the owl. And that's what's missing. Because, like, I've got everything. Well, let's go. These portals look like they're going to be a shortcut up there, so I guess we'll try them. Maybe I should take check that door just in case I could have opened it. Sucks. He's literally just blocking me from getting up there. No reason behind it, just bad coding. Okay, oh, we can break that. I just didn't see it originally. This one's a shot. Oh yeah, did we bond the crit one? So I might as well have the crit. If we haven't equipped it. Yeah, I forgot to crit, equip, equip the crit. Where's the crit orb?
finesse though, yeah. is everything. We just need to drop down to the tree now. Ow. Hey, I guess we should save. Before doing the tree, but is there any point? Yes. Like, the passageway is pretty easy to get to. Probably why it's there. The only problem is getting back up again. <laughs> when you figure out how to attack. Seems to have lost some of his power about the corruption things in place. Is there actually anything left or is this just the boss arena? There's a save. Right, I think we just take off the thing before entering the room just in case. Just to reduce the boss's health. Get ready for a fight. So what do we want on? Oh shit, I haven't had this on the entire time. Fuck's sake. Been reducing the amount of loot that I could have been getting. Enemies drop more life orbs. We kind of want life change to energy. Possibly fawns instead, but if it's a run, we're gonna need jump, so I'm gonna leave jump and climb on. We can always turn them off if, like, we really don't, if, like, the fight's getting hard. But it's probably just a sprint anyway. Hello? Is there someone here? Anyone here? Hello? We made it, Ori. The spirit willow. The light will be restored to land. The damage will be undone. Rain in the anima.
healed what was broken. Syria is now reborn in flames. See their memories gather to my great truth. How the spirits have longed for this day. If only I could carry this light once more, but I know, but it's no longer mine to hold. My time has come and gone. A new age must begin. My child, I give my, the light to you. Through it, bear it, you must grow. One life you must now leave behind to save the lives of all. Join now with sorry, embrace the light. Care for this land as I once did. Can't damage it all in this way as we can dumb. Fucking hell. No floor. Like, how am I supposed to do a trace sequence if it refuses to spawn any floor? Actually, really fucking hurt. Well, 
Where is it? Where is the fire? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you actually fucking kidding me though? Like he just wasn't taking any damage at the end. Horny jail! Bonk! <laughs> he got sent to Horny Jail! We shall always remember that night. The night. Man, I'm dead. When hope faltered. Some choose to remain in darkness. pretty beat up in that fight. That last phase was hard. Mm. 
man, I'm dead. Somehow I can just stand on the fawns. The frog lower. He be dead. Just like I'm gonna be soon. I'm gonna sacrifice myself for the light. Put your faith in the light. from the light's touch. Embrace the light. When my name was Ori. Life began anew. Stop 
still very sad about Stoneheart though. It's just sad that it was rejected. Well, I guess there is never going to be another game. But, damn. These were pretty fun. And this game is much harder than the fucking first, because you actually have fucking bosses, and they are actually quite difficult. I don't know how the fuck you're meant to finish this game in four hours. Like, this one is so much light more than the first one. Like, maybe I should have been using the sword instead. Like, sword is probably stronger in truth while in air. And if I- I should have like, maybe I, I should have swapped when my health was low to the talent that allows me to deal more damage while low health. The fire explosion just wasn't hitting as well, I think, in the final phase. Maybe I should have been charging up the fire explosion to, like, get the burn on. Or just even just use, use like, the light skill to just deal some extra damage. Like, just dealt a small amount of damage with just the light. If we'd had our full 600, 6,000, then that would have also helped. Getting that damage skill is so important though. Like getting triple jump and the like that skill which just gives you extra damage depending on how much money you have. It's just so strong. The triple jump is just such a game changer. What I don't understand is why the fuck the ice area has to be so annoying though. Like that throw, f like throw jump from the plant is definitely like the hardest maneuver you have to do in the game. And it's not even optional, it's actually required for you to do it. Because you don't get the actual proper jump until right at the end of the game. Understandably, because that jump is pretty broken, just being able to like, do a like a throw jump in midair without having to actually catch the throne. Because it's practically just another... It's practically a triple jump. No, a quadruple jump, but it actually gives you height. The Gorm is like, Whoa! What are you selling? What am I buying?
I'm gonna be completely fucked tomorrow though. But I have not slept all night because I've drank far too much fucking coke. And by coke I mean Coca-Cola. So I'm probably gonna crash like half of the day, which is gonna suck. Cause it's like 6 in the morning, so I'm just gonna literally just die when it gets to like 12 probably. Why do the owls have to have such fucking sad stories in this game though? This game just fucking hates owls. Like this game series just hates owls, it's like, original game. Owls just fucking depressed because all its eggs got fucking killed by the light. This game, the, the owls just fucking depressed because all the other owls rejected it for looking weird. And then your owl friend like almost dies in this game as well. Like I could have done so much better in the boss. If I'd set fawns on the boss, I would have probably killed it first try. Like if I put fawns on, because like I was just taking so much damage on the head, because I like, was just always inside the head in that final phase. And then we got the joys of having 99% because for some fucking reason the game bugged out and thinks there's a thing in Cogwell's Hollow. There is a thing in Cogwell's Hollow. I just didn't see it. Might as well get that for 100% and just buy the rest of the things. Buy the rest of the upgrades. I'm sure I grabbed that though. Oh well. Whoa! I went super fucking fast there! I went so fucking fast I went past what I was trying to get to! That was crazy. Crazy, I was crazy once. They locked me in a room, a rubber room, a rubber room with rats, and rats make me crazy. Oh jeez, my health, why is it so low? Why the fuck is my health so low? Like, my health's, like, become the amount which I'd have if I, like, didn't have a single fucking health upgrade. Probably find it just didn't save because I fast traveled while it was picking up or something. So I'm pretty sure we got all of them. No trophy though.
Got all spirit shards. Let's get the upgrades then. See if we actually have enough for everything. God, that's actually expensive. Maybe I won't have enough for everything. I won't have enough for everything. We did not have enough to upgrade everything. Well, that is that. That is the Ori series finished. Well, I guess we just need to save for it to classify as having all the collectibles. Well, see ya!